Good evening and welcome back. So today we are at home to Chelsea and the Champions League and again we've had to make quite a few changes. Tired bodies out there, we've had games with only two or three days rest in between them. Schubert's unfortunately on a down, so is Joaquin. We're going to rest Gvardiol, Pedri, Martinelli, Cossonu and we're going to go in with the likes of Castro up top, Mudrick and Giobi supporting him. Kang and Lee's come in, as has Cousins, Ogbonna. But let's jump into the match. Hopefully we can continue this good run. But it's great to have these night matches at home in the Champions League. It's a shame we had to rest Pedri. I suppose technically I didn't have to. Um, but we've got an, another match in a couple of days against Barcelona in this. So it was kind of pick and choose which are the most important matches. And both are. So, you know, rest plays when you need to. Rotate the squad. Trust in the players you've got. Yes, Pedri is technically our, our best player by a fair distance and Martinelli is second best and he's not starting either so um, Plexi have got such a great squad let's hope we can put up a, a very good performance against Chelsea we've certainly been getting better as the season's gone on tend to start a little bit slowly especially if you make some signings and you're selling players because the team chemistry goes a little down and you're just getting used to the new players um, but Pedri in the past few matches has been brilliant Kieran Trippier who's starting today he's been fantastic he's on a bit of a downward condition today but that hasn't seemed to stop him before when we played him on a, a downward orange and of course Mudrick playing today who uh, previously was of Chelsea Vieira that's going to deflect over for a corner Yeah, big match in the league against Barcelona. Probably the biggest league match we've had this season. Here's back at. I really would like to uh, to beat Chelsea. <laughs> I like to beat everyone, but and of course, if you didn't catch it, Cousins will be going in January. We've sold him, but he's going to be playing. I'm sure, plenty of games in the meantime. He's been a very good player for the squad. Castro, good save. Got a, a good offer in from Cousins, and he was a, a free when we got him. He was a free transfer, and he's just, he's not going to improve really anymore. So, we need to keep on improving the team. Great ball in. Oh, defender just got on the end of that. Play from Castro there. Trip yet. Castro. Oh, just wide. Really nice play, though. I mean, I wouldn't say Trippy has been a revelation at that right back position because it's Trippy. I know him. Obviously, he plays in Newcastle, my, my club. Um, but he's a regen, and you, you know, you think, well, he's not highly rated overall at the moment. Um, but he has been absolutely fantastic. I think, like I said previously, he's, if he's not our leading assist so far, he'll be right up there. Cousins now. Oh, just wide. He has got a good shot on him, Cousins. Doesn't score maybe as many as he should. He's a very good all-round player, though. You start to see him go, but... So you've just got to keep on improving the team and if, if players are getting to that stage where they're not really going to improve anymore you just have to be ruthless sometimes oh Diaby gets it taken off his foot just as he's about to shoot there but they're just lumping it back 
Pierre now uh, gets tackled. Does uh, was that Kangani that got tackled? Kang and Lee. Nice ball to Castro. Oh, that's a poor touch. It's not like Castro. He's normally very good on the edge of the box there. Getting balls into his feet. Turning, shooting. It's very unlike him. Now Vieira. Diaby. Castro he's surrounded there though. Does well. Ooh. <sighs> Nearly got lucky. <laughs> Oh, Shepard's out very well. It's nearly off time. Haven't created many clear-cut chances. It would be in the, certainly the better of the team. And the defender just absolutely out-muscles me there. Castro is not the strongest. He's not weak, but he's not going to... Uh... Oh, I don't know why that's... Oh, that was... <laughs> what was going on here? Good tackle from Lovato. And he's running all the way here. It's a nice ball into Mudrick. Uh, no power on the shot. I mean, he got on target, but... Got to do better than that. It was a great run from Lovato. <sighs> Poor pass from Mudrick there. And that was a terrible pass from uh, Castro. It's going to be nil-nil at half-time. Being a struggle, we are definitely the better of the teams, though. And just to let you know, we had 74% of the possession in that first half. And I've, I've said it before, possession doesn't really mean anything unless you do, you know, things as well. So you got the ball. Um, but that does tell you something how the, at least the game was going. Of course, very... No, you're famously very good at distribution, and there he is again. Starting those uh, attacks quickly. Chelsea are really playing 10 men behind the ball pretty much. DRB into trip yet. How haven't we got the ball there? Ah, referee, man. I cannot stand referees in pairs. Absolutely useless. Sorry if you can hear. Pretty loud car going past there. Right, good tackle by Backer. No free kick given this time. Nice ball from Castro. Now DRB. Kang and Lee just about manages to keep it. Again, nearly gave it away, but good footwork. Trippy, a good ball in. Just can't quite get on it. Now Vieira, Diaby, Castro, and there it is. 1-0. Great movement. Got Kang and Lee over here. Over to Vieira. Fired into Giorbi. Lovely finish there from Castro. Patience has paid off. And we'll probably make some substitutions in a second as well. Lovely strike. Okay, so we are going to bring Zirkov on for Trippier just because he's on downward condition and he's running out of steam a bit. I know Zirkov's not technically a right back, but he can play over there. Fabio Vieira is going to go off for Bellingham and we're going to bring on Zirkov for Mudrick. Ruben Castro is going to play on the left for a little bit. Just some fresh bodies and hopefully Zirkov can have a, a good uh, go at the defence. They got very lucky there. 
Good tackle from McBonner though. Could see uh, one of the players free. Just couldn't get the pass through. Here's Zerg off. Now Bellingham, Lee Kang in. Ah, straight at the keeper. Decent strike. Gotta do better than that though. Can't just hit it centrally towards the goal. Nice play from Zerg. See, Castro getting fouled. Nope, not getting fouled apparently. Okay. Just pure frustration. But, I mean, that was definitely a foul on the yellow card, but Cash will get hauled down. Should have been a free kick. You know, it could cost us as well, those things. Oh, come on. A yellow card for that? There was nothing in it. The Zerkoff one was definitely yellow, but that wasn't. Don't even think it was a free kick, really, but. Oh, what now? What is this? Where is this? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm not even watching that. I'm so sick of these free kicks. Every time there's a free kick, sort of 20 or 25 yards out, the score it. And that wasn't... All that work. Chelsea have done nothing. And, yeah, they just get given free kick after free kick. And, of course, they're going to score. Right, let's focus. Try and get a goal. Well, first of all, try not to concede one. Here's a Bonner bursting forward. Sexy. A Bonner. Ah. Just runs into traffic there. Why can't I get the ball? It's ridiculous. Shocking ball. Six, he was free there. That'll go out to do a pass from uh, Chelsea. Well, that's not who I was trying to pass to. We'll get a throw in, though. Nice ball to DRB. How is that not a penalty? How is that not a free kick or penalty? Ah, <laughs> uh, Xerxes, what are you doing? And why are my players not running with the ball after we've tackled them? One one. Chelsea did not deserve to that. They were pretty shocking all game, but they get a free kick and they score from it. And 
Yes, yeah, that's why we had 70% uh, possession. They had one shot on goal, which was the one they scored from the free kick. Their best player was their keeper. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But I should have scored more, so that's down on me. But a draw is not a terrible result with the top two teams you would assume in the group. And like I said earlier, a massive match coming up against Barcelona in the league, away from home. I mean, Barcelona down in ninth at the moment, but you would assume by the end of the season they're going to be up in the top two or three. So join us for that one. Hopefully there'll be more goals and hopefully I won't be as uh, disappointed in the next one. So apologies for being a bit down towards the end there, but I just get a little bit frustrated sometimes with this game. It's one of my all-time favourite games, so hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you can. And I'll see you all next time. Cheers.